Thanks for joining me again. Today, I'd like to geek out over a little bit more really cool hardware. I found this, it's called a Namograph, at a local antique shop. And I think this specific one might be pretty unique. And maybe you could help me find more details to back up that claim. Maybe it's not, maybe it's common. We'll dive into those details here in a few minutes, but first let's just look at it and see what this thing is. The Namograph is an interesting machine. It's a uh, engraver for fountain pens. You slide your fountain pen in here, you pull down on the lever, and these little letterheads will emboss a, uh, or imprint a letter into your pen. You can plug it in, heat it up with the heating element, and use embossing foil to do you know, gold or black lettering or something like that. Otherwise, you just leave an indentation. This isn't going to be quite as useful as you might imagine. Even though it looks like it was designed for pencils, it was actually designed for fountain pens, which are considerably larger around than pencils. So I may have to make some kind of a rig or 3D print a jig to hold pencils for it. And there is one mechanism, unfortunately, that is broken, and that's the auto advance. In here where these broken parts are, it's supposed to auto advance every time you pull the lever back upwards, allowing for perfect letter spacing. Uh, unfortunately that's just, it looks like it's snapped off in there. I'm not really sure exactly what pieces are missing. I haven't been able to find a good picture. I didn't have the proper size pen, because this is for a large fountain pen. But I do have this wire brush from my shop. This should work perfectly. Let's give it a try. We'll put it in here. We'll line it up. And... Do my last name. Okay. Oops. Needs to be greased. R. Go. Two. Oh, there's no zero. I guess we'll use O. That's interesting. Oh, did I click it? Let's see if I. Yeah, I still need to move it a click. Good. So, why do I think this one is unique or special in any way? Well, to get to that, we have to look at the history of the company. This item was patented in 1920, it says on here, patent 1920, by a gentleman with the last name Lasco. They started manufacturing this the next year, a company called Modern Inventions Corporation started manufacturing this unit. I found a website with some information, I'll put a link to that website down below, that actually shows some of the original marketing materials. And in those original marketing materials we can see uh, a very early version which has a handle up here. And we notice that all the modern Inventions Corporation versions have the heater block installed behind this, it's not off to the side. According to the documentation, there's also a different finish. It was a smoother finish. 
on that website, it states that after a very short amount of time, this was sold to a company in Chicago called Midwest Tool Company. And they made a few changes. They say that they moved the heater block over and they added this different finish. You'll also notice that in the images of the new version, this plate on the front is different. Now, that's what got me curious. I saw that plate, I noticed mine looked different than the new plate, and mine actually has a company listed. It has Precision Instrument Company in Brooklyn, New York. The original company was in Brooklyn, the new company's in Chicago. I was kind of curious, so I started looking and I couldn't find any information whatsoever on precision, that's very difficult to say, precision in instrument, precision instrument company in New York. That's a hard one to Google. There is a precision instrument company now, but it's not the same company. So I dug and I dug and I dug. Now, there are visual differences that tell me that this falls somewhere in between. Uh, for example, this badge on the front of this one is the same shape as the one in Brooklyn, and it was made in Brooklyn. That's a big tell there. Although, the Midwest Tool Company could have still been manufacturing theirs in Brooklyn. I suspect this was a transitional model. The handle is the same as the one from the original company, the badge shape is the same, and on the faceplate here you'll notice numbers. The new version from the Midwest company uh, in Chicago did not have numbers, but the new version did have the heater off to the side like this and this matte finish. Very interesting. After a lot of googling, I did manage to find one version from Precision Instruments Company in an advertisement and that one has the heater block in line just like the original which leads me to believe that this one since it has so many features of both is a transitional model in between the sale from one company to another at least that's what i suspect now it could uh theoretically it could be even earlier but i doubt it i, I suspect it comes later because of the way the heater block is uh off to the side like the later models i suspect that Precise Instrument Company is uh, maybe even the same company, they just shifted names, um, or it was an intermediary in between those two companies. And I would love to have more information. So if anybody has any information about the company or this model, uh, how common this is, is it rare, is it super common? I don't know. I wasn't able to find anything about this one except for the one advertisement online. Anyway, I had fun geeking out on this. I love getting old tech like this or any tech and just nerding out and looking at how it's made, how it's constructed, how it works, and how it fits in the timeline historically. And uh, maybe I'll do some more of these. All right, I'll see you next time.